Okay, let's look at a little more difficult subnetting scenario. Let's say you have a network here, right? And you've got a network here, a network here, a network here, servers over here, and then you have a point-to-point -point, um, network with just two interfaces in between these two routers. And you're given a starting point of 172.29.0.0 and you need to create multiple subnets from this address space. So how would you approach that? Well, first of all, we'll look here. Here's our address space, 172.29.0.0/22. And I've written out the slash /22 in decimal form for the subnet mask, and I've written it out in binary. Okay? And given this IP address space, right? And I'm going to um really stress that the IP address space given this space creates seven subnets and for each subnet here's the requirements the first subnet needs 260 hosts the second 177 hosts 50 hosts 20 hosts and then the last three subnets are point-to-point -point networks meaning we're only gonna need two hosts if they say that you're only gonna need two hosts in each one of these right that's what point-to-point -point network means okay so the first thing to do is to figure out this address space what is the full uh, network address space of just this address so if we start with 172.29.0.0 and that is the network where's the broadcast number where does it end well when we take slash 22 and put in decimal and put in binary we see that this is the octet where we have borrowed bits, right? You can see here 11111 and then 00. So I've taken this octet and placed it up here on my binary place values chart, right? And I've placed it here, and you can see here 111111, six ones, two zeros, and this last one is in the fours place. That means that the magic number is four. And if the magic number is 4, that means the networks go up by 4. And if that's the case, then the next network, the next network would be 172.29.4.0 slash 22, let's say, right? So that would be the next network. And if that's the next network, then that means that this network goes from 172.29.0.0 to here. Okay, so that is the space that we're given. All right, so we have to create seven subnets between 172.29.0.0 and 172, I'm sorry, 29.3.255 right so we're going to carve up this space essentially all right so now how do we do that okay right now with slash 22 with a slash 22 subnet mask how many hosts are in this network from 00 to 3.255 well we can figure that out pretty easily by looking at this example I'm going to show you right now. If this was a traditional 24-bit subnet mask, it would look like this, right? That would be slash 24. And in a slash 24 network, you've got 256 hosts, right? Every zero that you add, the hosts double. So if it was like this, and it was slash 23, you would now have 256 times 2, you would have 512 hosts. Okay, and just copy that. If I did that, and I have this, right, with a 0, which is what we started with, this is slash 22, we add another 0 here, right so now instead of eight zeros which is 256 hosts and then nine zeros 512 hosts and then ten zeros if you add all these ten 
zeros right here, right? Ten zeros, that would be 1,024 hosts, okay? So right now, with a slash 22, we've got one network. This right here is one network with 1,024 hosts. But all we need for the assignment on our first network is 260 hosts minimum. Well, we know that a typical slash 24 will not work because that's only 256 hosts. So they probably want a slash 23 or 512 hosts. So the first network we know is going to be a slash 23. It's going to be 512 hosts. Okay. Now the next network, 177 hosts, well, we could do a typical slash 24 for that because that'll give us 256 hosts. Right? This gives us 512. This one will give us 256 hosts. Right? For 50 hosts minimum, all we need is Let's see here. We change these to ones. And in the if in the last octet, if we made this, let's count the ones, slash twenty six, right? That would give us sixty four hosts. Okay, if we had this scenario, right? So slash twenty six will give us 64 hosts. Okay, how come? Well, how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 to the 6th power is 64 hosts. But you could also plug the subnetted octet. In this case, this is where we've borrowed 1's and zeros. Plug it into our place value system. And you can see that the magic number the last borrowed bit is in the 64's place, so the magic number is 64, and that tells us how the networks go up. They go up by 64, but it also tells us how many hosts in each network, right? So that's going to be slash 26, and then this one will be a slash 27, and that'll give us 32 hosts. Now, for the point-to-point -point networks at the bottom, the highest you can go is a slash 30, and that'll give you four hosts, only two of which are usable, so that'll be good for a point-to-point -point connection. And why is that? Slash 30, the magic number is four, so that means there's going to be four hosts in each network. You need one host for the network number, one host for the broadcast number, and now you're left with two usable hosts. So now you know what the subnet mask is going to be for each one of your networks and all you have to do is start at the top and subnet each one and I'll show you that next.